Right, welcome back. Tony Mill Conjure. As you can see, this end's threaded, this end's been cut. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a running coupler on here. We are going to do a set down and return it. And there's going to be 150 mil from the back end across there. And we're going to put this in next week. And we're going to make sure it's 600 long. And we're going to um, put a thread with a coupler on the end of that. So let's get set. So first thing we need is a conjure bender. Need some cutting grease. We need stops and dies. So this is going to be the length of our conjure between the end of the timber and this line here. And this is going to be the bottom of our conjure. And then we're going to do a set to come to here. So that's going to be our set. So we're going to have the conjure is going to be here and here. So it's, it's the back of the back of the edge to the back of the edge and that's 150 mil so what we're going to do we're going to come along we're going to put our first setting probably about here and we're going to use the conduit bender which is there right so we've got our conduit in our bender so we're going to start with bending and we're going to bend down well that's hitting the ground so we'll do a little bit more so we now we've got our first put the set. So right, so that's our first bend done. We'll line it up on here. So that's on the back of the conduit. This is the back of where the bend's going to be. So we're just going to put a mark there. So that's there. So we've got the mark on there. So we know where the bend is going to go. That's going to mark. Um, we're going to line it up with our mark in our former, which will be the back of the bend. And then when we've got this in the bender, we make we need to make sure this is straight so the bend is going to be perfect. Otherwise, we're putting this on there and the bend won't sit flat on the board, which means it won't sit flat on the wall. Right, so when you're lining this up here, we'll see that we've got the handle here. And if you can look through the centre of here, where that spout's going to be, you should be able to line the centre of this, this handle up with the V of the roller and then look through and see that dead in the centre of both of them and we'll make the bend. Will I stop at exactly the right place? I think that's enough, we'll see and we'll check. Right, so don't know if you can see that properly but there's the back of our two bends and they line up with a black pen so what we're now going to do this mark here the edge of the board to here was our 600 so we're going to mark that get that cut first things first we're going to put some grease on here cutting grease and that is this stuff uh, it's metal working base, but everyone calls it cutting grease. So we're going to put our stops and dies on there that are clean every time we put them away. So we're going to go three um, turns clockwise. We're going to come back one. And what that does is as that cuts the thread, reversing it by um, one half turn, takes the swarf out and it collects in a bit. In, the, in between the teeth. So once you get enough rhythm, get that white. So that's clear. So then, we're gonna take that out. We'll put, we'll put a cover on that if we find it. And then what we're gonna do now is we are gonna put a running thread on this end which is by the time I've done a runner here on the I don't think I will do any running tonight so put it in same again obviously it's pre-cut the thread so this can go straight into it hits the end of the thread so we're going to go one two three back one two three back Right, that's that thread cut.
bang that out, clean that off. So there's our 20 mil mill edged lock ring. There's our 20 mil gal coupler. So we are gonna put those on. Like so. Oh, I've gone a little bit over the top of the thread. That doesn't matter though. So we'll take that out of there. In there. There's the other 20 mil gal coupler. It's gonna go on this end. that good? No. That's used another coupler. Look at that. Terrible. And luckily, luckily, we have loads of them. That's much better. So that is what we've done. So we've got a runner and I'll just get the board out and show you this on the board. Our conduit, there's the back of our set, there's our line on our, our set, there's our running coupler, there is our uh, coupler. So that's perfectly to length, so we know that will perfectly fit when we're back at work on Tuesday. So I'll do a video, an update video of that getting fit Tuesday. So, thanks for watching the video. If you like that video, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, We'll fit this on Monday. Look at me like I'm looking for trouble. But yeah, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, share it. Uh, look at our other social media and uh, follow for the next one. See you later.